Nisan Bola, my name is Letia. I'm from Fiji, Tonga, and uh, born and raised in New Zealand, and I'm the director for Still Here. Hello, Bola, my name is Therese, and I am someone from Mangere, South Auckland. I was the producer for Still Here. It's a docu-series on the remaining Pacifica families still living in the inner city suburbs of Auckland, so like Huntsby, Greyland, Home Bay, like all those like suburbs are like. It's like a love letter to a community that like was, is and still will be. It's really beautiful thinking about it in that way, that it's more than like just like a piece of content, but yeah, something that is timeless. I grew up in Ponsonby in Greyland. The starting point for the series has always been like fuck a puppet. It's always been family. So it's like all the other themes kind of grow from that. I always knew that there was such a rich cultural history in my mum and family and friends were always very big on like making sure I grew up knowing that, that there was like a, a history here um, and, a, and a remaining presence. Two years ago, like asking about any families that were like keen on telling their stories and we got like a response of a hundred families and so like we weren't able to you know tell all those stories like on screen but still really wanted to be able to like honor like all these families um, who have like these really amazing stories and have been in central Auckland for so long. We reached out to Jeff who was also known as South Sides, uh, an amazing photographer. He was doing like a um, series documenting like people from South Auckland and we thought that would be really cool if we could get him to do the same with families from central Auckland. He was like super keen to be a part of the project and came on board and like looking around I just like am so in awe of his work. Like he's like incredibly talented, definitely honoured their stories. Hello for lava, my name is Jeffrey Matautia. I'm 27 and I'm a photographer from Manurewa, South Auckland. Um, I was born in Samoa but live here, have been living here for most of my life. It pretty much is a love letter to their community, yeah, their place. Um, I think it does embody like a sense of place and emphasizes the community that surrounds central Auckland. I thought the history of kind of migration where people started off in central Auckland and then moved out to south. Um, so I thought that there was a tie there that I could kind of, yeah, that I could relate back to without it being such like a like a stray away from the stuff that I was already doing in my own personal work. For us it's always been about like we've never seen the families as like subjects of a documentary um, and I think it's really important that they we are in like equal partnership and they are the authority on their own experience so it's very much us being kind of a using the tools of documentary and the resources and skills we have to be a vessel for them to be able to portray the story on screen um, and really make sure that we collaborate prior to and during filming so that the story authentically represents what they want to say about their experience and their home and their generations and those legacies. So. I think that's been a really beautiful experience. It never felt like work, it was just like we're just existing with people and we're often just filming them doing things like making cups of tea or just sitting around eating, which I think some people might think like, oh that's not like, we need something more dramatic and interesting. But for us it was like, how is your, you know, how is that central Auckland or that inner city Pacific identity embodied in everyday life and often it's just through existing in the world, like Vasa gardening with her machete, like she just does that and when we told her we're like, oh like, you know, you're doing that, she's like, oh like, do you want to film that, like don't you want to set up something, we're like, no, 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 like for us that's really special and says so much without having to say it, you know, or be on the nose about it, so yeah. Mm -hmm.